let us go ahead and uh, take up another similar question for practice. This time again I will not speak a word you read and interpret the question on your own try solving it on your own as a rough work and write up the solution in your notebooks when I show the solution on screen. Alright friends this time I am really really hoping that you would have got accurately correct answer and uh, it is absolutely the same thing nothing different. You just have to be little careful with all your calculations accuracy would not come on its own you have to master it you have to practice 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 you have to keep on revising and practicing to attain that accuracy. So, once you get all solutions on your own accurately obtained you will automatically start building up that level of confidence what is really required before you face examination. So, the correct answer over here is y equals to 590.91 if you would have got the same answer correct brilliant if you did not get it check where you went wrong and uh, if at all even after referring to the solution if you do not understand you know you can just get back to me to get these doubts clarified. The next thing what is demanded in the question is the value of the multiplier which will be clearly inverse of 0 0.55 I do not have to explain you that multiplier calculation again and again one time you write up the solution you get the idea how to determine the multiplier in each scenario. So, it will be 1 minus t that you first compute then you multiply that to b and the whole thing as a product what you get should be subtracted from 1. So, here 0 0.9 gets multiplied to 0 0.5 with a minus sign. So, it will be negative 0 0.45. So, 1 minus 0 0.45 in the denominator will give you 0 0.55 in the denominator. So, 1 divided by 0 0.55 will be the value of multiplier that comes to 1.818181 recurring. So, while writing up the solution earlier we have rounded it off to 1.82 rounding it off or not is up to you, but whenever you are not rounding off you are showing the calculation see what I have done dot 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 indicating that it is a recurring figure. If you write it up as 1.82 then make sure that you are knowing that it is an approximate value because you have made a rounding off. Let us move ahead and look into the alternate presentation the same formula the same variables the same pattern in which you define all the variables nothing changes everything remains same. So, this is meant for your practice and that is why every time we are attempting questions my instruction is that first you should give a try and then only you should refer to the solution that I am providing over here. That is very important friends if you are just looking at the solution directly you will obviously not have any doubts when you attempt on your own and you are not able to get the answer on your own correctly then only you will come to know where lies your weakness. We want to transform your weakness into your strength and that is why this kind of revision and practice is important. You have defined all the variables time for us to substitute the value of all these variables in the main formula for computation of equilibrium income that is y and again and again I instruct you be careful with the plus and minus signs when you are dealing with these calculations because I have seen many students who are fundamentally going correct they end up committing a silly mistake while making these calculations and those silly mistakes are all about plus and minus signs avoid those silly mistakes and you will find yourself always going accurate. Time for us to move ahead and take up another category of question given in your book as question number 28 look at one thing here it is similar type of question c is given as 200 plus 0.8 into y minus t plus t r the moment we read this equation we understand that there is involvement of tax and there are transfer payments as well. And look at the tax function it is inclusive of an amount which is constant autonomous tax and there is a portion of tax which is dependent on your income. So, 0 0.1 into y indicates that portion of your tax which is related to income. So, 10 percent of your income 
is the amount of variable tax and the constant amount of tax is 50. So, considering the fact that we have constant amount of tax, we have variable amount of tax, we have transfer payments, all the factors included. This is the fourth and last situation with respect to disposable income that you have learnt in three sector economy and the question is simply asking you to find the equilibrium level of income. Friends, I am not going to show you the solution directly. Let me see if you get the correct calculation in one go. You do not have to compute multiplier, just find the equilibrium level of income. The important thing is to see whether you got the answer correct or not. So, the equation of y remains same, variables definition will also be in the same style. The only difference is when you are defining the tax here you have to consider the constant amount of tax, the variable amount of tax and existence of transfer payments. So, writing the equation, defining all the variables and then substituting the value of these variables in order to get the value of y. So, if you have done everything correctly, your final answer what you got must match with what I am showing over here. Value of y will be 840 divided by 0 0.28 and that comes to exactly 3000 check whether you got the same thing or not. If you did not get it, then check what went wrong in your solution. Because the question did not ask anything other than this, we will just try to now make an alternative solution where we directly write up the y formula and when you write the y formula, keep in mind that this is a case where constant tax, variable tax and transfer payments, all the components are included this is the fourth and last kind of situation that you have seen for determination of disposable income under a three sector economy. So, please check your calculations. When you attempted the solution, if at all you have done it this way, then make sure that you are defining all the variables all the time. Alright friends, once you have defined all these variables, you are now ready to put up the value of these variables in the main formula for determining the value of equilibrium income that is y. Taking care of all the calculations, concentration and awareness of what you are doing will ensure that you do not commit any silly mistake and you get the correct answer. So, answer will still be 3000 irrespective of what approach you follow for your solution. Let us move ahead and this time I throw a different kind of challenge for you. What I am asking you to do is exactly similar question in case you went wrong and you want to rectify your answers and you want to write up the solution what I am showing on screen, you can just pause the video and do the needful. So, just look at the solution nothing new over here. This is all what you should have done. The final answer what you should have got is y equals to 1423.08. So, as I told you, if you need to make any corrections in your notebooks, if you want to rewrite the solution, I am not giving you any separate time, just pause the video and do the needful work. Alright, I take you ahead and show you the other version of solution, the alternate solution where you would have defined all these variables and I believe even this part of the solution you would have presented on your own. Make sure that all these variables you have systematically defined and once you do that, you would have put all the values of the variables in the equation to obtain the value of y. The result remains same, it would not change. So, if you were correct with the first part, in the alternate solution also you must have gone correct. If there you would have committed mistake, even this part would have gone wrong. Either way, the answer is 1423.08. As I told you, I am not going to give you separate time to write up the solution. If you want to write up anything, pause the video and do the needful writing work. Alright friends, I take you ahead and let us now deal with the next similar question for practice. 
again another similar question. So, let us just do the needful work here I am not going to give you separate time to note down the solution. Solution would have been presented in your notebook already you just need to verify whether it went correct or not. So, if all your calculations are correct fantastic if anything went wrong and you want to rewrite any calculation or rewrite the entire solution you should just pause the video and do the needful. y value should be 769.57. Let me also show you the alternate way of presenting the solution. So, we move ahead and deal with the alternate way here you write the main equation and define all the variables. Once you define all the variables next thing what you have to do is to substitute the value of these variables in the main formula to get the value of y. So, I am sure you would have done this already let us move ahead and find out the value of y. When you do that with accurate calculations you should be getting 769.57 as the value of y.